This is part one of the internet. Okay, so we're going to look at what the internet is, the hardware that required to connect to the internet, IP addresses and the DNS servers. So first of all, what is the internet? The internet is a connection of a network. So it's a global network of networks. You can think of it as um, a large network that spans a whole globe and all the computers are networked together. So millions of computer servers and other devices are all connected together. When I say other devices, things like phones, tablets, all connected together and they can share resources like websites on the World Wide Web and email. Now it's important to remember that the internet is not the same as the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is websites that run on the internet, the internet being the connection of networks across the globe. So if you look at this example here, I've got the internet connected with some devices. Now to connect to the internet, you need a modem and you need a router if you want to connect to more than one computer or device. So a modem is a modulator demodulator. It converts analog signals and digital signals between each other. And essentially on the side of the uh, modem that connects to the internet, it will, that will need analog signals and on the side of the local area network the LAN that will be digital signals and the modem is there to convert the, di the digital signals from the LAN into the analog sig signal so it can be sent down for example the telephone line or the connection to the internet. Now a router is used to forward packets between networks so if I go back to this slide here you can see that the laptop is connected to the wireless router wireless router connected to the modem and that to the internet. Now, routers can be wires, wired or wireless, it doesn't matter. Obviously wireless, you need a wireless uh, network card to be able to connect to it and a wired is a uh, network interface card. Now, a router will send packets towards the destination. So if the laptop requests a website, that request will be packaged into a packet or several packets, I should say, and those packets will go to the router, the router will pass them on to the modem, which goes to the internet, and when the web server returns the website back in the packets, packets will go to the modem, to the wireless router, and then the router will send it to the laptop, and the same for the desktop computer. If the desktop computer requests some information, the router will route it in the um, route data to its destination. So, a router will forward packets between the different networks. Now, to, net, to connect to the internet, we need a unique address. This can be thought as a, like a, an address of that computer on the network. So, when you, can, when you connect to the internet, every single device needs a unique address. Now, because the, use, the internet uses the TCP IP protocol, it, we assign an IP address. Now, there are two different standards we can use currently, IP version 4 and IP version 6. Um, you can research the difference but essentially IP version 6 is the newer version and we're trying to move towards that. Now these addresses um, can be used publicly on the internet and if you connect to a local area network you can have a private IP address. So these, there are certain ranges reserved for these, i.e. starting with 192168 or 172.1.6 or 10 um, dot. Now, to connect to a different website or different service, we need to have um, an IP address or a domain name. Now, trying to remember IP addresses is not that easy. So if you went to that um, domain, sorry, that IP address there, it should take you to Google. Now, trying to remember that every time you want to go to Google is quite difficult. So we have a domain name system to help you with that. A domain name system lists all domain names and helps translate the um, domain name into IP addresses so the computer can understand where you, to go to or from, uh, but it makes it easier for humans to remember the addresses. Okay, so if you need any extra um, revision, you, I'm going to link to the BBC Bytesize website where it's got some more information about the internet and also you can watch the videos from the Cambridge GCSE Computing website.